Hello. Uh, before we get started with our modules, I just wanted to take a couple of moments to uh, do a brief overview of D2L for uh, those of you who haven't seen it from a student side. Um, I know many of our students who might be watching this, student care tutors who might be watching this, uh, or those of you that have been students at OCC during the time of D2L uh, might have proficiency if that's the case. Um, feel free to ignore this and move into the content. Um, but for those of you who are looking for a brief overview, I'm just going to share my screen quickly. And we'll talk about what you see uh, when you go to D2L. So a couple of things. Uh, you're going to start, and, and pardon me, this is um, a bit in progress. I have to make a couple of uh, adjustments here before it goes live. but to give you a sense, um, this is going to be your landing page. It's going to give you any announcements for the course. Uh, you'll see one at the beginning of the course. I'm going to try to keep announcements for the course um, to a minimum. But uh, the aptly named Start Here is a great place to start. You'll see a quick message uh, that introduces you to kind of the purpose and what to expect from the modules. You'll see a video on uh, accommodating English language learners. And that's going to be their, their intro video for the course. There's no uh, assessment or quiz or anything like that associated with this Start Here module. Now, there's two ways to move through the modules. So the first one is to navigate from the course home. And you can click into specific modules from here. The other is by going directly into content. And you'll see all the modules to the side. Um, and there's some branching here. Uh, if there were sub modules, which there aren't any in this uh, in this training, you'd be able to access the sub modules by clicking there. There's also a link that's called course activities that gives you assignments and discussions and quizzes. And it kind of gives you an overview of all of it. Um, this is a more confusing way to access it because it shows you everything all at once. Uh, it can be a bit overwhelming. So as I say in my classes and as I'll tell you, the best thing to do is to navigate module by module. And so we took a look and you can see because I've already clicked in uh, the start here welcome message, this has 100% topics completed. If I click into module one, each module has a quick uh, summary of what you're going to be doing and some learning outcomes for the module. And these learning outcomes should tie specifically to uh, the overarching goal of the course, which is to help us better support English language learners. Um, this first link is an article. Articles, the articles are all uh, linked as PDFs. And it's going to open right in the window, uh, and you can access it directly from here. There's also some accessibility. You can look at these in EPUB. So if you want to download it to your Kindle, um, if you'd like an MP3 version of this, you can get an MP3 version of this. Uh, you can also download this document and you can open it in uh, a separate window to use a screen reader if, uh, if that's what you would prefer. Now, once you've read this document, you want to navigate to the next portion of this course. Easiest way to do that is to use these arrows when you're within. You can also come back to the module or to the overall uh, course landing page. So you're going to navigate here. And this brings us to our first discussion board. And so all the discussion boards are fairly straightforward. Um, and I give, uh, I'm, I'm awarding points for, for completing the three um, items in each discussion board. So you're going to describe your idea of world English. You're going to share your understanding of English in the lingua franca and how it impacts your work in the learning center. And then uh, you're going to respond to at least one of your colleagues. Now, for the first person or the second person, this might be hard. And the earlier we post, the more opportunities uh, there are for us to respond to our peers. Um, you do not need to respond to yourself. And in the event that there is no one to respond to, uh, you can simply wait for, for your response. Um, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to hold back anybody's opportunity to move forward um, because you your colleagues aren't in the same space as you. So to respond to this, you're going to start a new thread. You're going to give it a subject. Easy way to do that is 
just to give it the subject of the title here. Sometimes you can put your last name. And then what I do when I'm responding to something like this, is I just copy my questions right here. Really, the only two of them are relevant. And then I just treat these like short answer questions. When you're finished, you click post. I'm not going to uh, click post right now because nobody wants to see this. But uh, when you're finished, you click post, and that will post to your activity. And if we go back to, if we go to our next item, continue navigating through the module, you can see that there's a quiz here, right? I just took it to test it. Um, you can uh, take this quiz as many times as you need to uh, to earn a passing score. The quizzes are made to be barriers. They're just made to make sure that uh, we're getting the core concepts of each um, of each module here. The modules as a whole, as I mentioned in my uh, course introduction, should all take you no more than about an hour. That's that's what I've I've structured it. And hopefully you can fit these modules into um, hopefully you can fit these modules into space between students. If you have um, a vacant tutoring slot, you'll notice here that because I didn't complete the uh, discussion board yet, I tried the quiz, right, and I didn't I completed the discussion board, um, that it still is saying 67%. So that's what that's all about. A couple of other uh, quick features here. You can view grades and class pro progress up at the top. Uh, your quiz grades will appear automatically as soon as you uh, finish the module. If you have questions and want to email, you can certainly use this email function here. And uh, if you're taking multiple courses, those will show all there. If you have questions throughout, um, throughout this experience, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Um, otherwise, I hope this is something that is worthwhile and I hope this is something that, uh, that informs the work that you do with students. Thank you all.